Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is a this is a little bit better right here. Okay, so we're in Zach Zachariah, right? And here we go. Let's find the verse, the sixth verse right here. And we have um right here. That's that word right there. This one A Y N A M E. Or A I I Nam I Nam I Nam I Nam. Now when you go to the English column, unlike the English, unlike the King James version rather, the Jewish version says he said moreover, this is their I. Now if you compare that to King James version it says this is their resemblance in all the land. Now the great thing about this it has the as you can see it has the footnote. Right? You can see it has the footnotes down here. Right? So we're going to go to the footnote right here. And we see that it's the seventh vision. It's the woman in the measure. Right? The woman in the measure. So let's just read a little bit and get a kind of an overview. So it's a woman is seen shut up in a large measure. Remember we showed that in the Rihanna video. Right? In that triangle which is for the east, the Apha, which has an Egyptian origin, which is carried off to Babylon. So it comes from Egypt, but it's carried off to Babylon. She is sin personified. The vision declares that sin will be permanently banished from Israel and transferred to that land of ungodliness and transferred to another land, right? So now it says right here that this that goeth forth also from the Holy of Holies, Rash, he said, Ehrlich he renders what is now appearing. But when we scroll forward to verse 6, we see the measure is the apha, right, which is a measure with the capacity of about 8 gallons. Now, remember, this is a dry, it's a bushel. So uh, it's really the heen. That is the liquid measure. But interestingly enough here, they said the capacity is about eight gallons. But actually, it's about a bushel since it's a dry measure, the ephah. But this is 1957, and Judaism, European Judaism is like to admit it, but they, they're still learning, you understand, compared to the Ethiopian Hebrews that have a 2,600, 2,600 to 3,000 plus year um, recorded history, speaking about the black Jews of Ethiopia in particular, but also Africa and us in the diaspora. But here, as we go forward, it says right here, this is their eye in all the land. According to Rashi, the measure is a symbol of dishonest trading. Could it be pointing to slavery? Dishonest trading. In other words, exchanging, you know, a, 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 a boy for alcohol and a girl for, you know, alcohol too, you know, like a bottle of, of rum or something like that. Dishonest trading. He explains that this is the measure of the punishment of, let's go up here, of those whose eyes are full, it says, in all the land to deal falsely. You see, so whose eyes are full. This is a interpretation, right? Making the ephah or the ephah small and the shekel great. That means selling you a little something for a lot of money, Amos 8 and 5. I'll just use a little worldly example. It's like you see how prices are going up on everything, the shekel, the dollar, the so-called silver or the gold, the fiat currency, what we have with this false Illuminati symbol, right? But what they sell you, the measure of it is very small. So you're paying more and you're getting less. This is called um, false or dishonest trading and dealing falsely in weights and measures. But now as we go forward right here, it says their punishment is carefully meted out measure for measure. And we're seeing these kind of judgments happening. You know what I'm saying? Not just on America, but they're globally on the West in particular. Kimchi Give this interpretation, this is interesting right here. This is one reason why I wanted to show it to you, that the measure 
that thou seest indicates that there is an I. You see this right here? That there is an I above them that seeth their doings. Now we understand this so-called Illuminati I doesn't just see their doings. It actually is directing, is supervising, is the eye of the God of this world. But now the RV or the revised version has, this is their resemblance. Now, interestingly enough, it has Numbers chapter 11, verse 7, or XI 7, which is chapter Numbers 11, verse 7. Now, it says CF, which is confer from the Latin, all that that literary kind of code and stuff. It means to compare with numbers 11 and 7. So this is their resemblance. Now, we went to numbers 11 and 7. It's talking about the color, the type, what manna is like, coriander, and it has this color, this color of amber, so forth and so on. The word color in the Hebrew is actually the same word here, oin, or I, that we have translated here. But if you look into your Bibles, the King James Bibles, which basically is based on what's known as the RV or the Revised Version, it would say this is their resemblance. But it's clearly indicated in the Jewish or the Hebrew version of, of Zechariah or Zechariah, it's clearly indicated right here, this is their eye. So you see the difference depends on what reference material, what sources. So for the Christians, this gets a little bit covered up in their revised version, but it's very clear in the so-called Jewish um, Tere Asa, or the 12 prophets. So the RV says this is the resemblance, and our resemblance when you compare it with Numbers 11 and 7, it speaks of color. If you look up that word color, the Masoretic behind the word color in this particular um, um, uh, verse, Numbers 11 and 7, you see that it's I. So it's like their I, their oin, their I. Now, this is the picture. Notice what it says. This is the picture or description of them as they are in all the land. Really, according to Hebrews, it says the land, but that can also be interpreted as all the earth. Now, true, one could say the I is in a kind of a so-called so plural sense, or oinam, but it's clear even by the translation that that is, that is for the I that indicates the, the, the Masoretic the I and should not be confused with the plural of it, although that can be, in a sense, also implied. But anyway, here, here's the evidence right here, and they go into the whole footnote. This is their eye in all the land. Instead of what you have in your Bibles, this is, this is their resemblance, right, in all the land. And this is concerning the seventh vision, the woman and the measure. And remember how it begins off, which is kind of very interesting because it says down here, um, I think it's right here, a woman is seen shut up in a large measure, which is carried off to Babylon. She is sin personified. You wonder why, where, where the rise of this divaism, you understand, is coming from. This so-called divaism, this goddess kind of thing. How is this rising up? Because we're in that day and time where these visions, where the vision is being revealed. All right? So, anyway, brothers and sisters, this is, this is this particular book right here. This is the Tere Asa, or from the Twelve Prophets, the so-called Twelve Minor Prophets, and there's some of the evidence of what we've been saying, all right? So, Shalom, Rastafari, more to come, Yah willing.